Hey, welcome back. Gonna go do some bashing and smashing around, but first, perhaps a way to ruin something. So, I tried just sort of strapping the GoPro onto here the other day and did a little half-ass FPV, and it actually looked pretty good. So, I made a better one. This is another great benefit of these basher bodies. They're so strong, you can actually mount pieces to them. <laughs> so, I have this little GoPro mount. Uh, it comes in a little kit. It's super cheap and just drilled a couple of holes right through it and then through the body here. And then I got this big heavy duty zip tie and clamp that down. And it's a little bit off center because you, I can't show you the camera because uh, I'm filming with it. If I have the mount off center, then it puts the lens pretty much in the middle of the truck. So that's going to be pretty fun. And I also made one for the techno. Well, made holes. Uh, we'll see what happens. My GoPro might get broken awfully and terribly. Might be some pretty cool shots. Might be some pretty mesh shots. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. Might have to just do a few with the head on just in case I ruin my GoPro. <laughs> Let's do it. I put the camera on the damn thing. Whoops. Oh, and it already fell off. Shit. Well, we had a bit of a malfunction. Good thing I put the broken one on. So I've gone up a step. We're putting the scuba case on there. That'll protect it. All right, well, so far my little mount works awesome. Now it's time to try it on the Techno and see how that goes. Techno is dead. I don't know what's going on. It's not working. It won't drive, and then when it does drive, it drives on its own, so that sucks. Back to this one. We're gonna launch it. Get the damn backflip. That one still works.
actually I broke it. So we're gonna do some hill climbs. Well, we got a perfect breakaway point. It's always the zap strap now. And that time nothing broke. The truck is still okay. All right, successful. Except for the techno dying. Yeah. Suck factor 14. Sure looks nice though. So epic. <laughs> It's not even scratched. That's crazy. So that's pretty good quality stuff, whatever they make that out of. Like there's the lens, there's everything around it. You can use the underwater for under the dirt too and it works just as good. Here's a little update on the drive shaft situation. This is a Rival MT-10 and I was testing drive shafts to find some that didn't break. Uh, one of the options is these Techno drive shafts for a Traxxas Slash. Requires some modification to the hub. Basically have to dremel out some of the seating surface of the bearing to get it further down this way. Anyway, so when you do that, when I did that, I kind of enlarged the hole a little bit too much so the original bearings didn't fit. So I ordered up some slightly larger ones. I got these from an Australian place on eBay, Plague Bearings. They got here faster than stuff that I ordered from A-Main, wherever in the US, at the same time. Even though they're in Australia, they came to me in Canada really fast. These are 10 by 16 by four, instead of 10 by 15. And so it fills up this area. I dremeled it out a little bit more so that these just snugly fit in. And then, of course, the front bearing, you also have to get a different one. I think it's 11 by 6 by 4 compared to 11 by 5 by 4 because you got a fatter axle on the 
techno kit. Anyways, put these new bearings in and now it's nice and smooth. So I think that's the, the best option here. If you want to go with the techno kit, you also need to get bearings for both sides. eBay, they may be, they have their own store too. Um, but yeah, and they seem like great quality. So check them out. All right. Well, see you next time.